Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Apex Legion in 2023. We're going to look first of all at your Windows setup and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year, it's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So, I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off, and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people <laughs> are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's, it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now, inside of the game, we're going to go to settings, go to gameplay. First thing that you really need to look at is your performance display. Make sure this one is at on. You want to know like if you're lagging and stuff like that. And you want to disable the usage sharing. After that, in video, make sure that you're playing in full screen. Don't play more or less. Sometimes it's causing random stuttering. Also, in the resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So if you have a 2K computer uh, monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. For all the few of you, really important to know if you're going maximum, you will lose FPS if you uh, uh, increase your FOV. So I recommend maybe to just do the whole guide, look at your FPS, and after that, adjust your FOV if you want more. Small tip over there, spring view shake, I recommend to go with minimal to have better visibility. For VSync, I recommend just to disable it if you want like pure FPS, low input lag. You just want like the most FPS, unlock your FPS. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you can also use technology like FreeSync and G-Sync. It will help. Uh, don't go too crazy. If you have bad thermal, don't uh, unlock everything because you will cause a uh, stuttering issue for sure, a lagging issue uh, when your processor or your GPU start to throttling because you don't have um, a good thermals. For NVIDIA Reflex, I recommend to go with Enable. If it's more CPU bound or you're struggling with your C CPU, you can definitely go Enable plus Boost. Don't use the adaptive re resolution over there. Anti-aliasing, I recommend just to put it at none. Uh, Anti-aliasing in this game is pretty bad. Everything looks blurry, so that's why you should definitely go with none. Texture streaming budget and texture filtering. Look at the amount of VRAM. If you have 8 gig of VRAM, just go with 16x and 8 gig. If you're going at 6, go with 8x and just follow the path like this. Ambient inclusion, I really recommend to deactivate it. A nice 8% boost in your FPS. The game will look flat. I'm going to tell you at disable, but you, it's easy to it, it's easier to spot enemy with ambient inclusion at disable. And also, if you uh, put at low your shadow coverage, shadow detail, disable the spot shadow detail, uh, just those options, you will gain a nice 25% boost in your FPS. This is super important if you want like stability and good FPS. Volumetric lighting, if you compare with enable, you can gain a nice 5% boost over there. Dynamic spot shadow, another 5%. So I recommend to go with disable. For the model, not a huge incre uh, not a huge difference between low and medium. It's like 1 FPS, 1%. If you compare to high, it's like 3. So I recommend to go with medium. It's a pretty much a good balance. For the effect, I recommend to go with low. Uh, better stability in your FPS. Impact marks, I recommend to go with low. You want to see where you're shooting and you don't want to lose too much FPS. And if you have a pretty bad CPU, Ragdoll for sure go with low. If you have something better, you will you can easily run medium without too much impact in your FPS. But I still recommend to go with low with Ragdoll. So this is pretty much it. For the audio, we're going to apply it. For the audio, super important to play stereo. Don't use the 7.1. It's pretty trash. Make sure that you have proper headphone with good imaging and play stereo and you will hear your enemy easily. So if you have any question about Apex Legion, 
in 2023 just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.